she keep it lead on Chrome. I'll talk about these topics. So first, we are going to dive into Chroma because we are kind of new, so maybe most of you never heard of Chroma before, maybe. So after that, we are actually, we have faced a challenge while using GK EVN inside of Chroma. So we're going to talk about how we tackle those challenges. And then we're going to talk about the cool story behind our new open source project, Takion. So first of all, Chroma stands out the first topic stack rolled up with active GK for proving certified I2Bit. And in simple terms, it's an optimistic rollup using GK EVM for fault proof. It has, like any other optimistic rollups, it has an interaction, but only at the block level. And it also has a seven days challenge period as well. But here's a twist. Uh, GK EVM plays a role in dealing with dispute resolution here. What's GKVM? If you let's break down GKVM from a role based angle, then it's got two sides. One is front end and the other is back end. Front end, it defines polynomial that adheres to arithmetic constraints. And in back end, it produces a proof based on these polynomials that according to methods that are established by cryptographic proving system. In Chroma GK EVM, we're not reinventing wheel again, so we have customized these cross GK EVM circuits for the front end. In back end, it's powered by cross Hero 2. But the problem is, uh, it takes 2.5 hours to produce a proof for a single block that contains up to 100 transactions. It's quite long. So, Everyone has been saying that MSM is the slowest part in GKVM backend. So let's search if there's an existing GPU solution. Since we wanted to keep scroll GKVM circuits as untouched as possible, so we just wanted to replace MSM in the backend part. So we went to Google and searched GPU MSM. Guess what we found out? We found out that MATLAB GPRIZE MSM GPU repository, lucky. So we clicked on it. So the last commit was way back in 2022. Unfortunately, we stumbled upon a repository called ERA BELMAN CUDA within the same organization. So we used it as a reference. Here's an interesting twist, GK Sync implement the code for abstract algebra, both Rust and C++. In the left side, it's written in Rust, and right side, it's written in CUDA C++. So what this implies is that in order to run MSM for GPU, you have to prepare CUDA C++ code again. OK, cool. So anyway, we replaced the MSM and ran a benchmark. And the results was pretty cool. MSM GPU runs 10 times faster than MSM CPU. So, we, uh, okay, but sadly, simple replacement MSM doesn't solve the problem. We have the, we have pinpoint to coverage. One is MSM CPU is sometimes better than MSM GPU when the input is concentrated and not randomly distributed. And the second, here to itself has a room for polarization. Uh, let's dig, let's uh, dive into here to a little bit here. Here, very theta is computed to express expressions used by lookup argument, which is notated by L. And the, when you compute very theta, you have to run Poseidon hash, and this Poseidon hash is not suitable for polarization. So when you run MSM GPU, you have to send polynomial command here, A0 to A3 to GPU to CPU, and you need to run Poseidon hash on CPU. 
if we can modify a little bit like this, similar to a Merkle tree, then you don't need to have to send polynomial commitment to from GPU to CPU to just run, just to compute data. So in this way, you can, in this way, with this little modification, we, we expect that this improved GPU utilization ratio. So we have a nice idea, and we are ready to put it to action. So we went to hair 2 code and tried to modify this part. And here's the catch. hair 2 is undoubtedly excellent code. I won't deny that. But having around 600 lines of code within a single function makes it challenging to consider it as a general purpose or easy to use. So we decided to create a new open source for better performance. First, as you can see in the example of Arab and Makuda, in order to run some code for GPU, you, anyway, you need to prepare code for C++ game, but maintaining codes for both Rust and C++ is far from being productive. And we want to write code once for abstract algebra or anything, and we want to run GPU again at the same time. In terms of CUDA SDK, if your function is marked with device host, it can be run on GPU and CPU. What this means, if your code contains many device host calls, it means your code is GPU interoperable. In other words, you don't have to write the code for to run calls for GPU again. Okay. Also, since the world of GK technology evolves very rapidly. I also heard that there are so many numerous attempts in the industry to integrate the new technology like Hyperplunk or Nova or Lasso into Hair 2, but I never heard of any success. So we want a code that enables switching different proving schemes easily. And then, of course, we want it to be fast. So that's precisely why we make a new open source called Tachyon. In August, we opened the public repository and we have diligently rewriting here too in C++ again. I think this will bring us at least one impact in, in terms of client diversity. And then by February, we are aim to run everything on GPU when you produce a hair 2 proof, and then by April, we intend to apply folding schemes to Tachyon. That's what, that's our plan. And this is our QR code for repository. If you are developers, you can just scan and you can take a look at our code. And if you like this, then press star, or if you want to contribute, we are welcome, to, we are welcome for your contribution. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ryan. Big applause. So we have time for questions. We're also ahead of time. So. There's one over there. Yeah, I really love your presentation. It's nice and uh, with a lot of hints for during your development. And uh, my, uh, my question is actually is mainly about the folding scheme. You said you're gonna release it uh, next year. I want to know for the progress now because I'm quite eager to use that, <laughs> honestly uh, speaking. Yeah, actually, to be honest, we are actually researching on it and we, our team is mostly focused on rewriting Hero 2 in C++. And yeah, actually, this is the plan. Yeah, I, I, we are one of our team member is hard, hard, hard researching on it. But yeah, yeah, it's this is our status at this moment. What is? I'm gonna ask two questions. <laughs> like, what's the benefit of having a CKVM fold proof on an optimistic rollup, and like the design? And the other one is like, what's the limit or? the low-hanging fruits of GPU optimization that you see at this time? Uh, actually, I don't hear your second question, but so I 
uh, ask the first question first and then I'll ask you again. And the run, okay, <laughs> just re let me. Anyway, it's a good question. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, we, we think that GK is the future, but indeed, at this moment, GK is very slow to produce and it's very costly, but we want to use and we want to develop, we want to contribute in the field of GK. So we make use of this GK to make it, at, to use it as a for group. In this way, Challenger, uh, we design the fault proof always has been proved by Challenger. So in order to uh, submit challenge, initiate challenge, the challenger needs to prepare the proving machine so that it is based on assumption that most of output submitted by output submitter is mostly correct. So in terms of this design, the GK is, you never, you may never have a chance to challenge it actually happens and it actually, GK proving is produced in real production, but yeah, still we wanted to use it and we want to optimize this kind of mind, bring us to adopt this kind of design. And after like applying to folding scheme to Takion uh, or Chroma, then we, there's maybe a time that there's an instant challenge. No, because when you, when you think of optimism or, or arbitrum, you need to interact between each other into the interaction level, but because of the GK EVA, we need interact at block level, but if we have folding scheme or something like that, then we just, someone think that, oh, this, this output is incorrect, and just the output submitter just submit the proof that, look at that, we, I have a correct, correct proof that very days that transition from this state to this, that state is correct, then the challenge protocol can be much simpler. This will bring us, in terms of optimist rollup, can be, yeah, benefit from this kind of design, something like that. Uh, what was about your second question? Yeah, thanks for the answer. And the second one is, what are low hanging fruits that you think that can be achieved with GPU optimization? besides like the work that you're doing with uh, Kion? No. Uh, like other improvements? Uh, are we, are we, after this? Yeah, we can do it up like. I will go to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> awesome. Please, a round of applause to Ryan. Thanks so much.